My name is Khalil Akar. I'm the owner of Signature African Art Gallery. We're in London, Mayfa, and the exhibition that's taking place is called Say My Name, and it will be presented by acclaimed film director and producer Eva Duvernay. It's key that we have an understanding of our history in order to understand our present and to determine what our futures will be. So it's so you know critical that we, um, you know, just as, as human beings, as members of communities, are really able to look back at what's already occurred. You know, it gives us the strategy and the blueprint for forward movement. So we have 13 works by 13 different artists. So each artist was commissioned one work for the show specifically. And we have seven females and six males, and they're all based in Africa. And we have two sculptures, we have one installation, and then 10 paintings on display. So the idea behind the title, Say My Name, is twofold. The first part is the importance placed on the life of a minority, especially people from Africa. Is the value of a life right now, is it seen as the same as the value of a non-minority? And the second one was many people, be it African Americans, be it Africans, that should be celebrated, so like Wangari Matai, such as Angela Davis. We have Fred Hampton here with the light, and should be much more renowned than they are currently. We wanted to make sure that their accomplishments and their achievements are highlighted. This piece is by Nigerian artist Dennis Osakwe, depicts Angela Davis. The title of it is actually called The Power of Black and White, which is the importance of black people and white people working together and unifying for the greater good. His medium is actually collage and acrylic on canvas. The thing with Angela Davis herself, I mean, her entire life, she spent defending so many causes, so diverse. That's why he's used Wonder Woman on a few examples, but she's such a powerful lady. This is a beautiful painting to showcase her. We have very relevant, ongoing topics that are happening now as we speak. Many people that are killed be it by police brutality, for example, be it George Floyd, be it Breonna Taylor. When they're dying in Nigeria, what's happening with NSARS? And then we've uh, raised, for example, about the Windrush scandal. So this is something that's relevant to British history. So this is a way to try and connect all the issues we're currently having all in one uh, exhibition. So this piece is called Speak Out. It's done by Cameroonian artist Jaco Cassie Natalie, and it's actually polished by a clay. It's obviously the raised power fist. This is her trademark design, these mask forms that she does out of clay. And she's put in small placards. All the placards have certain messages, like we're all human, no to hate, uh, I can't breathe, even though over there we all have a voice. This is the first time she's ever done a piece this large, and it came out absolutely beautifully, to be honest. So as far as artists go, so us as a gallery, uh, it's very important for us to not just stay quiet, because if you stay quiet, a lot of the time you're just complicit to everything that's happening around the world. The idea is the exhibitions we have are very political in a way and very sensitive many times. With everything that's happening now as well, our artists, they've been speaking about it for decades, but now hopefully with this show they'll get an even bigger voice, an even louder voice to be able to send the messages across to everyone.